Tana Mojo is in big trouble with the vlog squad, and it's kind of ridiculous. Tana has been co-hosting Jeff Wittick's Jeff FM podcast for a while now, and recently the two of them talked about a fight that they got in because Tana went to David Dobrik's launch party for his pizza shop, Dobrik's. It was a whole thing, and I made a video saying Jeff and Tana talked about how this was their very first big fight as friends, and Jeff was just feeling hurt, knowing Tana would still go to his party, knowing everything he's been through with David hurting him and altering his life forever, and the fact that the vlog squad stuck by David and left Jeff in the dust because they couldn't risk not being friends with David to keep their pocket it's full. Fans were upset with Tana feeling like she just didn't get it and she shouldn't have gone. And even though she said in the episode that she talked about Jeff all night with a vlog squad and told everyone how much she loves and supports him and is on his side and everything, her going there and being in a photo with David just wasn't a good friend move. Tana and Jeff were able to work things out and he's no longer upset at her for going to the party. But in the latest episode of Jeff FM, Tana said that her talking about that party and the fact that vlog squad members said they missed Jeff, got her in trouble with them. And when she attended the Babylon movie premiere party the other night, she found out that they had a major problem with her. I got pressed by a grown man Yeah. for things I said on... <laughs> the things that I said on your last podcast about certain people's actions, I was accosted for. Coming at my neck, like... There's two sides to every story. You don't know what it oh, is. Yeah, blah, yeah. What's blah, blah. the other side? I literally said F the other side. Suck a d and die. Like what the actual made me so, so, so mad. Her getting confronted by one of the members at this movie premiere party is crazy. And it absolutely shocked her because she never talked about one person in specific. And the thing is, is that I said on your podcast, A, is true and B, was a very vague statement. It could have been about a girl. It could have been about anyone. Like this person took it upon themselves to feel attacked. Do you know what I mean? Oh, on the podcast, you said that uh, people miss me from the old crew. That's yeah, I said that certain people will say that they miss you and then not act like it. And I've never understood adults who can't, you know, move with adult behavior. If you miss someone, was you care about them. Was that person one of the people? Yes. Oh, so so they did say that? And they did say that. 100%. They got mad that you, you aired it out? Yeah, but I never said their name. Literally, like Tana said, she never mentioned anyone by name. So it's just crazy that someone took it so personal when she was telling the story in the recent Jeff FM episode. I like had crazy conversations with a lot of his group where they're like, I miss Jeff so much and I love Jeff so much. Oh my God, I might be airing too much out. But no, I'm not going to hit I him talk up. about that. I just said but on I, here that but I... But I can't hit him up. And I'd be like, why the f can't you hit him up? If you miss Jeff, hit him up. You're a grown Bad person. PR. But it's just so crazy how one person felt the need to come up to her and get mad because she made it public that they missed Jeff. And the two of them, when they were talking about it, were just so weirded out by the fact that missing someone is an issue when you're in the vlog squad. Now that's odd that you can't say that you miss a person. Something fishy's going on. Oh, 100%. And it was like, I'm sorry I had his back. There's no two sides to any story. That's the other thing, though. She mentioned that this person said there's two sides to every story. So they're out here not only being upset that they said that they missed Jeff, but they're also defending David at the same time, saying you don't know the whole story. David has a side. I mean, what is there to hear? Jeff has permanent eye damage. That's pretty bad to me. It gets even crazier because Tana said the confrontation between this person and her got so heated that other people had to step in. Other people were around and trying to like diffuse the situation, could tell that this guy was like being so out of pocket to me. Like, oh, he's just joking. And he was like, I'm not joking, blah, blah, blah. Like, he was like, nice to see you, Tana. And I was like, was it fucking nice to see me? Like we were going back and forth so hard. She said she called Jeff about it right after. And even though she said for him to not say anything to this person until after she left the event to not cause drama, he texted this person, anyway. And as a result, the squad ended up following her around for the rest of the night just to keep an eye on her, just to see if Jeff was maybe possibly going to show up and meet her at the event to confront them. 
and they try to do everything in their power to make sure that Jeff wouldn't be at this event because she said that they ended up putting in a request to get him blacklisted from the event. Tana said that she tried to get Jeff to go and meet her because he actually was invited to this premiere. He just didn't want to go originally, so he didn't RSVP. But when Tana asked him last minute to come and she asked the event if he could be let in, she was literally told that he was the one person that could not attend this event and he was blacklisted and they would not be allowing him in. I go to my team who's there and because you were going to come, y'all were going to pull up, which is so funny too. It's a black tie event. I'm on the phone with you. I'm like, put on a suit, put on a suit. And you're like going to come. And I go to my team and you were invited to this event. You received the invite. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, can I please get two people? And they were like, yeah, of course, whoever you want. Like, who are the people? And I was like, Jeff Wittick plus one. And they were like, yes. Oh my God. Like, we love Jeff. We'd love him here. And my team goes to the team hosting this event, which is a major movie production mm -hmm. team. And they were like, yeah, he's been asked to be blacklisted tonight. Like someone went, I promise you. I And I, I ended up later speaking to the person who said that, like the head of it. And she was like, yeah, just no Jeff. Yeah, no, no Jeff. And I'm like, it's crazy, like beyond crazy, embarrassing, honestly, that David and his squad are that afraid of Jeff confronting them that they would put in a request like that. It's just wild. Like you guys are really scared of Jeff, huh? Like really, really, really scared of him then if you're gonna do all of that to avoid him. I mean, that just seems crazy. And of course, if they're going to do all of this and she's going to tell this story, everyone is going to be curious as to who the heck it was that confronted her. And there's only a certain number of people from the vlog squad that went to this specific event. There's a ton of photos from it. All the influencers that were there were taking photos of. And there's only four people from the vlog squad that went. So people were picking up little clues that Tana was leaving while she was describing this person and talking about how it all went down. And she mentioned that this person who confronted her was of prehistoric age, which a lot of people in the comments believe that was a dig at Jason Nash because he is the oldest of the vlog squad members. He was also at the premiere along with David, Zane, and Todd, and none of those people are really prehistoric, so. It's just crazy for a grown ass man at their prehistoric age to f <laughs> come up to a little tiny, innocent, kind, sweet girl who's never done anything wrong in her life yeah. except support and love her friend. Like, it mm -hmm. was just, I'm just in disbelief. But it's also weird and it's hard for me to believe that Jason would say this to Tana and that he would confront her and be all in her face. I mean, there are people in the comments that say, and even Jeff was telling her that she can kind of over exaggerate a story, but it's just shocking that Jason would even have a problem with Tana telling the world that he missed Jeff because of the fact that he has been very public about the fact that he doesn't have anything against Jeff. He's not on bad terms with him. So it's just strange that he would not want the public to know that he misses him when he's been public about that himself. You know, I love David. I love Jeff. It's the worst you know and anytime I speak publicly on it it's like you know it's just like what what can you say about it they're two people I care about you know I love Jeff I'd do anything for Jeff you know I I, I saw him at a wedding last weekend we talked um, his podcast is doing great you know I I'd, I'd always be there for Jeff you know if he ever needed anything and yeah it's just it's just super now as much as everyone does think it is Jason because of the one prehistoric comment Tana left a comment on this Jeff FM episode and said, it's not Jason. Some people are saying maybe Jason reached out to her and was like, do not talk about me again. And she was trying to diffuse the situation by leaving this comment. Other people are now saying maybe she was talking about Todd because he's the next oldest, but it's not making sense to people. I certainly want to know what you guys think about all of this and the fact that somebody from the vlog squad not only confronted Tana, but then wanted to follow her around the event to make sure Jeff wasn't actually going to be in their presence. I think that's just embarrassing. And the fact that they were invited to a really cool movie premiere party and this is what they wasted their time doing. It could have been a peaceful event. Everybody could have had a fun time and gone home and it would have been fine. But no, they had to cause a scene with Tana. And here we are again. Tana's airing it out on the podcast. So maybe the next time they run into each other, it's probably going to be super awkward once again. And I think she should just bring Jeff next time. 
probably not he doesn't need to be in any more drama with them but i definitely want to know what you guys think do you guys think it was jason like i said some people are still thinking it is even though she denied that it is but the prehistoric comment that prehistoric comment uh, anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments below i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next video also merry christmas eve if you guys celebrate love you love you love you bye guys Oh, my God.